Hello reception, it's Miss Patel here. So hopefully you've already watched the video of the journey and you've seen what happens in the rest of the story. So for your English activity today, we'd like you to go on your own journey. So you can decide whether that's around your home or if you can to go out for a walk to the park or the woods and have a journey there. Now, whilst you're out or looking around your home on your journey, we'd like you to have a think about what you can see. So I went on a journey to the park and I had to think about what I could see. I then had to go at drawing what I could see. So on my journey, I could see a bus, I could see a door with a number 10, and I could see a tree. Now, what we'd like you to do is draw your own pictures of what you could see, and then you could have a go at labeling them. So I want to write the word bus. So we can use our robot arms to sound out bus. B, a, s, bus. We could also use our phoneme fingers to help us. B, a, s, bus. So I'm going to have a go at writing the word bus. B, a, s, bus. I could see the number 10 on a door, so I'd like to have a go at writing the word 10. Let's use our phoneme fingers to help us. T, e, n, ten. T, e, n, ten. I could also see a tree. Let's have a go at sounding out the word tree. T, r, e, tree. Now you might like to use our sound mat to help us with this one because it's got a sound which we haven't learnt yet. So, tree, I can hear t. Oh, I know that one. T, t, r, mm, t, r, e. Oh, that's a sound we haven't learnt yet. That's a phase three sound. It's another digraph. It's the e sound here. So I'm going to use this to help me to write my word tree. R E tree T R let's have a look at that digraph E tree so have a go at drawing your own pictures of what you saw on your journey and then challenge yourself to label those pictures <laughs> 